Hello everybody, my name is Mike from Ad Gaming, and welcome to 1980X. A weird game. A really interesting little game that uh, has just come out on Steam and on GOG. I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to check it out. It's essentially a few games within a game, which tells the story of a coming of age of a kid discovering himself through video games, and not in a sexual gratification way before you start being all dirty like. Now this game really appeals to me because this kind of era, not the late 80s, but the early 90s was very much my own coming of age, my own discovery of gaming. And a lot of the games that are featured, or the, they're, they're basically like mock-ups of games that were out at the time. A lot of these games were my childhood. So this game really appeals to me. I know this is kind of really trendy at the moment, this kind of era, but this is my childhood, all right? So let's get straight into it. This is about an hour long, as far as I'm aware. I think it's part one of a story. So we're going to play it through the entirety. As I said, you can complete it in about an hour. Dun -dun. 80s music. See, like Mega Drive era graphics. Totally my era. Brilliant. This, this, oh god, this is brilliant so far. Look at this. Beating heart. Okay, so essentially, this was... A lot of the old games used to have these kind of credit systems where even the kind of port, the console ports would have credits. They're essentially like your lives. If you lost them all, you died. But a lot of these were in arcades. So I'm assuming Beating Heart is from what I can gather like Streets of Rage. It is exactly like Streets of Rage. Oh my god. Streets of Rage 2 is one of my favorite like brawler games. It's so, oh it is. It's just Streets of Rage all over. Oh, this is brilliant. Now, can we punch stuff and get turkeys? Because if we can, that'd be freaking amazing. Oh. Bring it on. Oh, man. They're actually making another Streets of Rage game as well. I am so up for playing that. It's going to be good. I just know it is. I, I, I haven't even seen much about it, but it's going to be good. Can we break this and get a turkey? Please, can we break this and get a turkey? No, but we got a stack of cash. Okay, that works. I'll take that. Now, I'm playing this with a PS4 controller, but for authenticity, I'm not using the analog stick. I am using the D-pad, because that's how you play games like this. D-pad. Oh, yeah. No 3D controls for me, thank you very much. I never had that kind of shit when I was young. <laughs> no joking, they didn't. Okay. Give me a turkey. Okay, now we've got a baseball bat. I'll take it. Oh. Get wrecked, guys. Get absolutely wrecked. This is just like... This is Streets of Rage. There is no, like, if, buts, or maybes. This is, this is Streets of Rage. And it's good. Like, to say this is a... You bastard. Look at that baseball bat. Uh. Noise. Dumbass. Give me a turkey. Come on, please, give me a turkey. Oh, burger. Okay, that'll do. I'll take it. I'll take the burger. We can't, like, special move or anything, though. Which is a bit disappointing. I'd rather, like, special move. Nice. Hubba hubba! Well, I can assume, and this is what I'm gathering so far, all these games will be, like, relevant to the kid's life in some way. That's the only thing I think, because this is obviously the kid we're talking about. The kid at the centre of our story here. And obviously, petty vandalism, smashing up phone boxes. You know, it's, it's very much a thing you did when you played Streets of Rage. You just literally just beat the ever-loving crap out of everything. As I said, Streets of Rage, brilliant game. Just genuinely brilliant. Which is why I'm very excited about the new one. Coincidentally, if you guys want to see me play through that, let me know! Get whacked. That's the best way to describe hitting someone with a baseball bat is a, th a good old thwack the face and I broke my baseball bat now get 
So I wonder how long like each of the games are, because I know there's like five. Did I? Oh no, I didn't die. I nearly did. There's my cat. My character keeps like warping. There we go. There we go. We've done it. We've done it. We got through. Mo bike. Oh shit. So this this just genuinely plays like a Streets of Rage game. And to say it's a game like within a game, it plays really well. I mean, look, at first glance, it wouldn't look any different. Oh, hello. Another hoodie. Hug the hoodie. Where, where are we going? We're not playing Streets of Rage anymore? I don't even want to play Streets of Rage anymore. We can hear the fighting down below, but we're just fading into the seascape. <laughs> there is a story here, I promise you. It's just it's told through the medium of the games. With these little snippets in between. I watched the trailer and that had me. So that's our Streets of Rage section over by the looks of things. Good way to start. Let's be honest, it's a good way to start. It obviously was not Streets of Rage, but it pretty much was Streets of Rage. I told you that the main character was the kid. Look, red jacket. It's him. He's like imagining it. Is there anything I can really... There I was. There is voice acting. In my room, just like every other night. Counting taillights on the highway. Soon the cars below would reach the city. But me, I'd still be here. Stuck in sleepy suburbia. You have a very tall house, by the way. Of that, you live in a flat. One of the two. Or so I thought. Right. But sometimes extraordinary things will happen. If you just let them. Fair enough, I can subscribe to that. Okay, okay. It's it's so retro and just just for that it's got me. It's already got me. I'm already enjoying it. Talking of subscribing to philosophies, maybe you should subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Just a little... Also, if you're enjoying the video, why not like it as well? Just a little uh, credit shove in there for you. Because I can. So far, congrats to these four people who made the music. The music is really good so far. I do, I think, and I think it's a nostalgic thing. I genuinely have a weakness for pixel art in games again I think it's nostalgic but I just I just think it looks nice there's something about it there's something about like the handcrafted nature of these things and yeah I know suburbia. just outside the city sometime in 1980x what you see around here used to be all that I cared for because it was all that I knew. It was here that I'd met my first friends, rode my first bike, found my first love, and found out that nothing lasts forever. Oh, yes. See, I was this born in 87. I grew up in and grew out of. I mean, I could totally get the growing out of the hometown kind of thing. Loved. Yeah, totally. I mean, like my hometown, I, I moved away from. Walking around these blocks for hours, just waiting for something to happen. I knew I needed to move forward, but every day felt like I was on a road to nowhere. The same office buildings and cheap restaurants, the grocery store, the laundromat, and the video rental place. Oh. Where dad used to take me on the weekends. He'd be looking for classics. Well, I was more into superheroes. 
Who doesn't love a video rental store? Oh wait, no one. They're, they're out of business now. Go on forever. But then, we didn't go there anymore. It was no big deal. Yeah, I said, I can relate. I moved out of my home hometown when I was 17. These days, I guess I was just looking for anything that could make my heart skip a beat again. Same old hometown, and same old buildings. I, found it. I can totally relate to that. I totally can. Moved away at 17, never looked back. See, my own hometown was kind of similar to this. I was about half an hour away from London, and it was busy. It was it was just hustle or bustle, people just rushing to work, and it was just no fun. Um, the factory was built long before I was born, but it had been shut down and abandoned for as long as I could remember. Mom used to tell me to stay away from there, but there was something down that pitch black alley that caught my eye. Prozies. <laughs> no? Okay. It's, it's kind of similar. It's like Red Light District, right? It took all the guts I had to go down the stairs. The basement air was Peep thick show. with cigarette smoke <laughs> and 10,000 volts of energy. And in the midst of this electric haze stood an army of high-tech creatures. Their huge, crystal clear screens flashing before my eyes. You I'd discovered seen video games before. Video games. Dad even brought home one black and white model when I was really young. But this was something else. Something you could not take home with you. And this place was definitely no hangout for children. In front of these machines stood some of the coolest, uncool people I had ever seen. There were the freaks, the geeks, the misfits, the outcasts, the real rebels. Relate! <laughs> part of something the outside world could not understand. Yeah, totally. Even knew existed. These guys were all playing trance-like, totally absorbed, as if they experienced something from another dimension. That was a lost voice poster I just saw on the wall. Maybe I could be one of them. Definitely. And this is where it kind of like juxtaposes into the games. So we're playing the games and the games are like... Uh, kind of part of the kid. As you can tell by the Streets of Rage one. So what's this one called? Out of the Void. Okay, so what have we got here? We're looking like asteroids, Contra, something like that. Okay, yeah, we have. Okay, I'm ready. I was never very good at these kind of games, though, mind you. Just spam the button, spam the button, and shoot the shit. Spam the button, and shoot the shit. Spam the button, and shoot the shit. See, Streets of Rage was more up my alley. This, on the other hand, was not something that I actually got into. Grab the power up. Or speed. Speed. Ah, oh, just bullet hell shit. I mean, like, obviously I've played through Cuphead and beat that, but, like, this kind of stuff I'm just never very good at. Ah, oh, yeah, this is bullet hell. This is proper bullet hell. Okay. And I'm going to have to spam the button. If I could just hold it down, that would be so much easier. Okay, what have we got? What have we got? Shut up. Okay. This makes things a lot easier. This is so cool. The music. And, oh God. Am I being attacked? I am. I'm being attacked by a bloody warship thingy. And my ship's on fire. My ship blew up. <laughs> Told you. Not very good at these games. Oh, that is an absolutely massive high score. Look at that high score over there. Charge my shot up. Uh, there we go. Uh, uh. Oh my god, we've had to start again. No way. I've started again. Oh no. I 
I've got my like got my power up though. So that's good. I think I'm making better progress this time. Much better progress. I've not actually been hit yet. Hit yet. Get a like lots of high score things, but no upgrades. Okay, we're up to the ship part. Just have to avoid it, I think, at this point. There we go, just do this. There we go. That's what I was supposed to do the first time. Now I can maybe lower the ship up. Come on, just die. There we go, we took it out. What is that? Boom, baby! Yes! Oh god, asteroids. We can't destroy the asteroids! We just have to avoid them. What's that? What's that? It's a power up of some kind. I missed it! Oh, it's this thing again! Let me guess, you're, you're the boss. So far, so good. Avoid his rail gun. God damn it! I didn't move out the way quick enough. What? We've got, where did we get the, like, the double shot thing from? Well, maybe that, I think that must be the power up that I missed, maybe. It must be the power up I missed. Oh my god, it's dead. It's dead. Laser. Laser! Whoa, big snake thing, big snake thing. With the walls. Okay, you may notice this is running a lot better now. For some reason, my recording was set to CPU. And it was destroying my computer. I don't know why. It's really weird. But this one's a lot nicer now, and I can actually play this one. This one was just... It was really weird how uh, OBS decides to ruin everything for me. Damn it, OBS. Okay, this is as far as I've got now. This is as far as I've got. Hopefully, we're making some real progress now. These games are not supposed to be, like, really hard. Oh, that is a power-up thingy. They're supposed to be doable, I think. We've only got one life left, which sucks. Whoa, 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 Okay, okay, that was close. That was really close. Whoa, okay. A lot of shit coming my way. A lot of shit coming my way. Let's try and avoid it. Let's try and avoid it. I think I did it. I think I'm okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it was one of these things. Just blew it up straight away. That was a big giant laser beam thing. Holy crap. Okay, we're up to the boss then. Oh, hello. You are a very weird. Okay, well this is fairly simple so far. Just stay at the top. Okay, now, no. Ah! God damn it. Yes, I will continue. I will do this, boss. Oh, I did it. And it's bleeding. Sweet. It's a brain. It's a brain thing. It's a brain thing. Destroy the brain thing. Woo. That was cool. I enjoyed that. Okay, we did that game. Okay, cool. Awesome. 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 That was that was more difficult for me, because again, that's not my kind of game. It wouldn't be fair to say I didn't do my best in school. At least for a while, I really tried to make it work. But now, walking those hallways with all those people, I wasn't really there. I was on an asteroid somewhere, fighting space invaders. But then there was her.
the rock chick right punk rocker from the Southern District. She was the wildest thing I'd ever seen. Oh man, that girl was born a rebel. Free to go wherever she wanted to. Well, not quite, she still had to go to school. Free in a way I could still only dream of. Well, because she had a car. Okay. The Runaway. What kind of game is this, then? It's going to be a car one, isn't it? It is. It's a car one. Oh, awesome. I remember this. It was, what's it? I can't remember what it was called. Oh, at... Uh, Outrun or something. God, again, this was never my kind of thing either. But this is so cool. This is what racing games look like back on like the Mega Drive. They were all this kind of weird pseudo 3D kind of thing. Which is kind of cool. But again, it was never really my kind of thing. But I'm glad that they've got lots of different kind of, like, homages to games. Appeals to lots of different people. Lots of different tastes. Drifting! Hell yes! We've got 36 seconds to do this, apparently. Don't crash, don't crash. I crashed. Shit, okay. Checkpoint! Sweet time extension. I shouldn't fail at this one. Okay, so that's... Okay, that's my brake. I was literally just holding the accelerator down the whole time, so... Now I know I actually have a brake to use. Don't crash into that car. That'd be a bad idea. Come on, there we go. We can get past the family sedan. We should be able to with this thing, anyway. Where the hell is we're driving? Excuse me, camper van! Rebel without a clue coming through. Whoa! Whoa! This is so oh shit! There's a genuine like sense of speed in this, which is really impressive to say it's essentially two-dimensional. Oh, I hit a tree. Shit. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Wow. Those are some weirdly stacked rocks. <laughs> I've never ever seen a natural formation like this before. Gotta say, it's very weird. Coming through, bus. I've only got 19 seconds to get to the next checkpoint, and you're in my bloody way. Whoa! No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on. Next checkpoint. Here we go. We can do this. Can't have much left to go, right? In the tunnel of weirdly stacked rocks. There we go. Whew. Excuse me, Laurie. <laughs> It's hard to talk when I'm trying to concentrate, all right? Just bear with me. Bear with me. We've got 18, 17, 16, 15. Ah! Come on. Come on. 10 seconds to get to the next checkpoint. Where is it? Where is it? What? 210 seconds. Oh, we're on the next level now. Okay. We're in the city now. We ain't driving through some stupid little um, out road with weirdly stacked rocks anymore. So bright. It reminds me of like the casino zone from Sonic 2. I started hanging out in the arcade almost every night. Oh, we're getting story during the game now. Standing there beside the other players, watching every move their fingers made. This was the real thing. My well, other life was just one credit away. Yeah, there is that. I mean, the gaming addiction's a real Down thing here, now, though. I found new worlds. <laughs> new meaning. I could be whoever I wanted to be. Travel Always be you. Space, experience fantasy and fear. Or just take a walk on the wild side of town. 
I mean, I can understand. I was really insecure in my teenage years, and... But nothing could beat the rush of the highway. Gaming was my escape. The speeding cars reminding me that there was a way out. A road to somewhere. The city on the horizon. I'd drive all night to get to that place. Oh! Oh! That is a power ballad soundtrack if I ever bloody heard one! Music in this game is phenomenal. It's so good. And there's not much gameplay in this section. I'm literally just holding the, the go forward button. But it's like, it's, it's the point of it. It's the journey, the destination we're going to, right? But yeah, I mean, I say, gaming was my escape. I mean, I can appreciate now as an adult, in inverted commas, adult, that I appreciate now being myself more, and that trying to be the best version of me I could be is something that I strive to more now. But that's the point of this coming of age journey that we're going on. And I always get really like philosophical on these kind of games, but. It wasn't just about the escape. About transformation. For every visit I made, every game I uncovered, every move I mastered, I felt stronger, more confident. <gasps> Look at that bridge! Some guy said I was nothing but a dreamer, completely out of touch with reality. Aren't we all, though? But I don't know. Down here, I've been in the high school, by the way. I was in control. No one told me where to go or what to do. The only bad part about it was having to come back up to the real world. Like now. When your time's up. But I got a high school. It's one thing, right? Sup, bird? Guns and Roses, Transformers, right? I'm just trying to pick out all the pictures and shit I can see. What are you making, Mum? Bacon and eggs? I love me some bacon and eggs. I guess just showing like how drab his life was. I mean, uh, to him, how drab and boring his life was. Again, I'm gonna say this again, the art stuff in this game is brilliant. Really good. Okay, what game have we got next? Little treehouse. When we were kids, life was so much easier. We, you yeah. Could go from bug collector in the morning to bank robber before bedtime. Anything was possible. Then came high school, and everyone got brainwashed. <laughs> Okay, tin foil hat. Started seeing you the way they wanted to see you. Be the brain, be the clown, be the troublemaker, be popular. It was none of those things. <laughs> People would define you in the most convenient way. I don't think I ever had a tag in school, Man. you know. That's who you are. Just the tall one, I guess. <laughs> Being over six foot and tall has its advantages, I guess. It's a pretty swish tree how she got there, though. They say that when you grow up, something inside you dies. <laughs> yeah, your soul. 
I'm still not sure if that's good or bad. When you're a child, shadows seem darker and lights seem brighter. Everything is more terrifying and more exciting at the same time. Well, there's some pretty shit scary things as an adult too. Taxes. It's pretty scary. Council tax. That sucks too. Yeah, some pretty scary things as an adult too. Shadow play. They're saying some kinky shit, is it? They're playing kinky shit. Or is this like Shinobi? Oh my god. Please be like Shinobi. Okay, no, it's not quite like Shinobi. It's a run and slashy slashy fox mask man. This is still cool though. My god, like Shinobi was so good. I mean, it's obviously like inspired by Shinobi. Okay, we have to jump over the spikes though. I'm nearly dead already, holy crap. This is actually legitimately difficult. Like Shinobi, legitimately difficult. It's very fast, I've just got to try and pay attention. Collect the orbs. I don't know what they do, but they do something. Okay, I died. Cool. Yay, game over to me. Woo. I'm not pleased to say I have to start again. Okay, let's try and collect these blue orbs this time. I didn't actually collect many of them last time. They do something. Just what I haven't worked out yet. Okay, with these guys. You just dodge them like that. And don't touch them, because that hurts too. Okay, we've got more health. Oh, wow. You've got like a super big blade thing. We've only got two health left. Shit. Can we get any health back? Is that a thing we can get? Please? God damn it. One health left. Oh, I thought I was going to die there. I thought I was going to run into him. Okay, we got a boss. We got a boss. Oh, and I died. Fuck it. Okay, can we actually, like, start the boss, please? That'd be really handy. No, we don't start the boss. God damn it. Okay. Oh, I actually did that section that time. I actually managed to do that section. Okay, this is... Oh, next bit. Cool. Awesome. That was a lot easier than this time because I knew what I was doing. And then hopefully we can just start from this bit then. With these ones, you just have to like dodge the fireballs while attacking them the whole time. I thought it was a boss. It wasn't a boss. Just a regular old enemy. Ow! God damn it. Sp spikes! 1 HP. God damn it. This second level's even harder. Well, at least we start from the second level again. Ah, there we go. Okay. Okay, we did it this time. We did it this time. We did it this time. There we go. First I've got so far. Dodge that. There we go. Damn it. I hate these things. They suck. And like ninja throwy star bastards. Okay, 2 HP. Ah, 2 HP. Let's avoid them all on the bottom. Whoa, hello. Okay. Oh, right, this is different. Shop them as they come, I guess. At least to say, I have one thing in common with Shinobi. But it is bloody difficult. Okay, collect the... Don't forget to collect my balls as I'm falling. Um, piranhas! That's random! Okay, make sure I collect all my balls. I've got two HP left. I think I'm doing alright so far. So far on this level. Stupid ninjas. Okay, yep, yeah, cool. Made it to the bottom. Oh, now there are holes in the floor to jump over.
Oh shit, there's ones on the ceiling too. God damn it, okay. <sighs> I can do this, my thumbs are hurting like mental, but I could do this. Okay, this one, slide under it, there we go. I wonder if we could slide under here that as well, that might be a lot easier. Slidey, slidey. Oh, okay, we have to jump boulders. Jump boulders. Okay, here we go. Doing a lot better this time. Yeah, we get to slide under them. That's much easier. That's much easier. Much easier. Just just press down until he fires and they go after him. Like that. Much easier. Shit. No! Ah! I'm about to jump! Okay, there we go. I actually got past the bit I got to last time. And I've got four health rather than I'm next to nothing like I had the last time. So it's all good. Pay attention this time, you doofus. Jump, there we go. Ah, okay. Come on, come on. Uh, okay, don't, don't just, just, just go through them. Oh god, what one of these things. Cool, it's alright, I've got two health. I'm good. Ah, boulders, ah, boulders. Slide under these. Makes things a lot easier. Rears, um. Oof. That was close. Whew, we did it. We're still going. Oh my god, this is the, like, the longest, like, game of this. No enemies so far. Giant, oh, uh, well, hello. Oh, this is like from Spirited Away, I think that reminds me of. It's chasing me, of course it is. We can't actually hit it, I don't think. No, we can't hit it. Just have to run. Okay, at least it telegraphs where it's going to attack. So up. Oh, okay. Middle. I got it. Okay, bye-bye. See you later. Okay. I kind of um, slightly did that on purpose. Just so I could um, get my health back. Because now I can at least attempt this bit with a full health. I think a full health. I mean just full health. Okay, where are you going? Bomb. Okay. I'm not at the top, you idiot. Bomb, yeah, okay. Again, not the top. Top and bottom. And then he'll go middle now. There we go. So it's the same attacks every single time. Well telegraphed, and I avoided all of them. Nice. Bye bye, creepy mask face thing. See you another time. Whoa, okay. He's back again. Whoa. He's much quicker this time. Okay. Sh shit, I got one health. He's going away though. Things are slowing down. Please don't make me do this again. Okay. We're just gonna strap die. Cool. <laughs> Whew. I think I done it. I think I done it. Oh Jesus Christ, that was tough. Oh, my fingers out after that. It was fun though. What's the point of these old games? They were fucking hard. Really hard. But they were also fun. What's that, like, the black thing of, like, his depression or something? As obvious as that, right? I used to love the weekends. Watching cartoons on early morning TV without a care in the world. The whole family together. Free to do whatever we wanted to going for long rides in our car, me falling asleep in the back seat, 
getting carried to bed when we got home. But then this thing with Dad happened. Oh, okay. And now, I wasn't sure our family would ever be able to put the pieces back together. Oh, I get it. His dad left. It's just him and his mum, right? It's gonna suck for the kid. Being home alone with Mom. Watching her too fall apart. I couldn't stand it. Poor kid. I had to go somewhere. Anywhere. I just had to get out. I used to fantasize about the city. Vaguely planning my escape, but never actually getting on the train. Instead, I kept hanging around at the video store. Seeking comfort and made up stories where I could pretend I was someone else. Mom would always tell me to quit dreaming and get back into the real world. I couldn't care less. That night at the arcade, everything changed. Dun dun dun! <laughs> Power go off or something. No. What's this one called? Kill screen. <laughs> okay. Slay three dragons to escape the maze. Okay. Sure. I am. Uh... Oh, okay. That's nice of you. Oh, this is really cool. Weakness exploited. Oh, okay. Oh, I think I get this. It's like an old school RPG, like isometric, like not isometric. It's an RPG, right? Oh, why am I here? Because bored, dad left, you know, that kind of shit. It's turned to smoking. A little command screen in the bottom. Oh, it's a pink one. My own way assembled. Okay. Oh, it resisted that. So what's this week to then? And I died. Push button to get up. I am pushing button. Okay, fair enough. At least we stay at level two. Right, so these things are weak to slash. I am an error? I don't think so, mate. So lonely. Oh, this is... Oh, this is like proper... This is this kid's, like, psyche, right? Oh, a dragon! Um, let's heal. I need to heal. Oof, okay. Um. Okay, so hack the dragons. Why can't I heal anymore? Oh, God, I'm gonna die. I died. Oh, this is his mum talking to him. Okay, so we just I have to just keep grinding the enemies until we get to the dragons, and then we can kill the dragons really easy. Am I lost? Am I really? Or am I exactly where I'm meant to be? Corny, right? Oh, dragons. Hey, dragon. At least I know where the dragon is this time. We know to use hack on it. Well, it matters. I'm dead anyway. Okay, so we're now on level four. I'm going to try taking on the dragon again. Now I've grinded a little bit. Well, this one's not me to hack. Oh, no. This is I used it at the wrong time, of course. Heal. Okay, these, these do so much damage. One more hack on, I think. 
Didn't kill it though. At least three of four hacks, I think. Or maybe if I'd have actually pressed the done the first one right, I might have been alright. Ah, we beat a dragon. Hell yes. That's one dragon down. So we're now level six as well, which makes things a lot easier. As you can see with these things, when you slash them now, one shot. Dead. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is mum telling me off at this point. No, I don't think I'll grow up. Growing up is just pointless. Okay, second dragon. He got the jump on me. Okay, so hack is not what you do to this one. Beam. Yeah, beam. Here we go. Oh, slash on this one. Okay, maybe we can beat it. Yes! Two dragons dead. AC surge. Oh, mum's going to try and turn the power off, right? Oh, that's really sad. Please stay. Oh. Like, you can tell these games are all, like... They're all aspects of the kid's psyche, right? That's what they are. It's the mum trying to say to the kid, please don't leave me. And the mum's worried the kid's going to leave. And the last dragon should be up this way. Here it is. There's a white one. This was a beam dragon then, right? Yes. Okay, so we've got it straight off. We know exactly what to do. This should be fairly simple. There you go. All three dragons dead. Dragon of grief. Storm is coming. What? We're max level. What? Okay. Oh, hello. Hello, Shodan from System Shock. Nothing. Okay. This is this is his mum. Yeah. Okay. Like pushing his mum away, right? Denied. I mean, it's not attacking me. Yeah, it is attacking me. Okay. Remember my attacks taken. I'm sorry, Mum. It's part of the game. Sorry, Mum. Take my beam away. I'll just heal myself then. Oh. Now I can't do anything to it. Mum uses ultimate power. Grounded. It's super effective. <laughs> what happened that night? Argument with your mum? I honestly couldn't say. I was still there, but nothing was the same. <clears throat> Push button to get up. What? What? We saw all the game characters. Well, and the car, which is not really a character. The 
game was not over. It was just beginning. Okay, so as I said at the beginning, this is just chapter one of this game to be continued. So I think there are going to be other chapters to it. Um, I have no idea when they're coming out, but I will probably play them because I did enjoy this. This is really, really interesting. It's a really cool way of telling a story, especially using a medium of gaming that's very close to my heart. I'll put it that way. But I said, really clever. Um, story was kind of... You had to kind of piece it together yourself. It's very... It's quite thin at this point. There's... What? The kid's dad's left. He's going through some shit. Gurley likes at school. Arcade. Has an argument with his mum. That's about all there is to the story, really. The real kind of story to this game were the games. Which... Were so well made and so faithful to their originals that... Just... Really good. Really, really good. I'm obviously going to hang around and see if there's anything at the end of the credits, because you never know! Okay, this game was actually kickstarted as well. I did not know that. I don't... See, a lot of Kickstarter games just pass me by. I never actually get to see many of them. Well, I don't back them, but... It's good to see a kind of fairly successful Kickstarter game and when I say successful I mean just generally a good game come out of Kickstarter there was a lot of Kickstarters this is still going holy crap there's a lot of Kickstarters okay this was 1980x a really awesome little game thank you all so much for watching let me know what you thought in the comment section below and I'll see you all again really soon